Right, today I'm going to be showing you how I play snooker. There's going to be a few tips in here. Um, we're going to start off with the stance, the grip, getting set up for the shot, and later on we're going to go into some more advanced stuff. But just to start off, I think we're going to start with the basics, which is where to hold the cue and where to put your bridge hand and how to kind of line up the shot, which is the most important part. I normally like to hold the cue here with the flap facing up to the ceiling. Copied that off of Steve Davis when I was a young kid, so I've, I've always stuck with that. As an average, you'd like to kind of keep your hand here so you've got kind of a little bit of a cue overhanging, but not too much, all depending on what type of shot you're going to be playing. And then obviously we're going to be walking into the shot and you obviously lead with your right leg first, which you, we're going to try and keep straight as an anchor. And then the left leg is something that we, you, you naturally would bend and that will help you to get down to the shot parallel. And we want to try and keep this hand all depending on what type of shot we've got to play. But as an average, I kind of like, I like that kind of distance from the ball. But obviously again, all depending on what type of shot you're going to be playing. If you want more power, then obviously you kind of have a little bit more overhanging. We're going to start off now by walking into the shot. So I walk into the shot, right leg straight, left leg bent, grip nice and loose. And as I come through, I slowly accelerate with the pressure grip there. Now we're going to talk about the bridge hand, which is very, very important. It's all so important to have a stable bridge hand. Anything that's moving or not stable, is, is, is not going to be reliable. So I like to always try and get this part of the hand or the, or the hand onto the table. You want to kind of keep it level. And what you want to try and create is a, is a V for your, for your cue hand to, for your cue to go through your thumb and then your finger next to your thumb. And what you want to be able to do is to make it that solid that the, that the cue can go nowhere but along this, this line here. You don't want it going across there, you don't want it going across there. You just want it driving fast and forward through into the shot. I always like to kind of make sure that when I'm addressing the ball, my right forearm is parallel. And what I mean by that is it's not too far there or I'm not too much inside. I kind of think, well, there's a kind of neutral position. And for anyone trying to advance in the game, I always think that's a good kind of something to have in your, as a routine, if you like. So um, kind of bear that in mind. I'm not saying one's right, one's wrong, but this is what actually works for me and I haven't done too bad. Mm -hmm. 